Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Tuesday, August 13th, 2013. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, we have the moon going to be in Scorpio, deep inside of it, passed over Saturn into the North Node. And this is a big, intense point that we are getting to the bottom of our souls, to the stuff that we don't expose, to the deepest aspects of ourselves. And we got Mercury, which is starting to square the node here, and it's going to square the moon today. And Mercury's in Leo. And Mercury wants to have fun. Mercury wants to find the lighter side of life, wants to enjoy the rose bushes, wants to laugh in bed. And it's Scorpio that wants us to get down to the nitty gritty, get down to the truth, get down to our rawest aspect of ourself. And today we are looking to understand this raw aspect while finding out ways to be more happy. And that's what this is about, is going deep into ourself, into aspects that we have not had to go so deep in before. And if anything, we are actually reviewing the deep energy that we've gone through since October of 2012. Saturn is now on its last passes of all these degrees here in Scorpio until it hits 11 degrees. This is going back to November, or December of 2012 and reflecting and bringing back some of the energies that we had to deal with of fears, anxieties, uh, truth. Maybe it's having to do with something in a relationship or you know, how you really feel about your job. You know, some of the stuff that we might have thought past is come back. And it's now having to face this energy and really, and really overcome it. And a lot of it is finding ways to understand how to be happier and to stay positive. But at the same time, not forget and, and emotionally connect with this truth and find the ways to overcome. And I think that's where we're at right now is we're all having to deal with this very deep aspect of ourselves right now and we're having to overcome this and find more happiness in our life. And today can be difficult about, you know, emotionally we want to overcome this, emotionally we want to connect with this truth. and in many ways just get what we want in our lives and have a lot of fun but it can be difficult to have fun with this unique aspect that's getting in between our fun right now which i think is something deep inside of ourselves that are it's so unique you have to you have to go inside yourself and figure out what this is and a lot of it has to do with spiritual energy a lot of it has to do with it can be anxieties, it can be, it can be fears, it can be trust issues, it could be, it could be a lot of the stuff that we don't like to expose to other people. And they can come in many ways. And I think a lot of it is time for you to go deep inside yourself and, and to observe what this is. And that's what today is about. It's great because the moon trines over to Jupiter and, and, and it's a feeling. It's, it's something for you to, to go rest in and sit in. And that can be not fun. Leo does not like to sit in energy that is not fun. But in order to have a better life, in order to feel happier, we're having to sort this energy out of our lives. We're having to sort these fears. We're having to sort these emotions. We're having to sort these problems that we find that maybe we haven't dealt with. For those who are older, maybe you've put this in the back burner for a decade or more. And that's what can make this difficult. This comes to energy where if you're a Saturn Scorpio person born in 84, 83, 85 area, or even if you're born in 55 or even earlier than that in 25, I mean, this is bringing up really intense energies. And of course, you got to look at your chart to define this, but we all are going through this deepness. We all are going through this intense period. And so today, let's overcome this. Let's find, let's set the intention to, to stay happy, but it's okay with, you know, this Jupiter right now at its real peak, powerful position in Cancer. And as it connects with the moon in the North Node now, it's okay for us to heal from this. It's connecting to Chiron. It's like, you're going to have to sit in it. You're going to have to go through it. There's an aspect of us that just wants to like push it aside and go play. But this is the time where we are sorting through our stuff in order to play more, in order to be happier. And this is the bottom. It doesn't get any deeper than this, everybody. This is where 
we get to the root of any problems of our life. And, and that's what makes this such a positive thing is to understand that for your mind to accept these emotions that you're going through and to not trip out by them. That this is what you're sorting out in your life. This is what you're going through. These are the things that are bubbling up beyond what you would normally go through. You know, this is coming up from past lives. This is coming up from emotions of even when maybe you fell as a baby or you were scared of that weird guy who held you that your parents probably don't even remember about. This is weird energy that is stored, that is being released. And so we are facing that right now intensely. The universe pigeon corners us and I'm sure you were feeling it in last night into the energies like, this is deep Leo Scorpio energy. It is intense, it is passionate, but at the same time, if it doesn't get what it wants, it's ugly, you know? It's ugly because you wanna, you wanna feel good and you wanna get what you want. And ah, believe me, I'm a Leo Scorpio energy. So uh, I know this energy very well and um, it's an energy that most people don't understand on the outer world, but you can only understand on your inner world. This is an inner energy. This is an inner energy force that we are having to really get down to the bottom of right now. And the universe offers us many ways out, which is through finding new comfort in this energy and healing yourself and taking your time. And, and you know, it is by us connecting to our emotions, connecting to the past, connecting to nurturing ourselves, that we're gonna go farther in our life. And we are having to find this new aspect of courage in ourselves and to redefine who we are. And this is not, it's not easy, but it's powerful and it's, and it's awakening. And it's, and it's a blessing. And so I set the intention today that you find out deep down what's holding you from your happiness, deep down what this fear is, deep down what this anxiety is, deep down what this is, and for you to realize that it's you having to be aware of it in order for you to get over it. It's you having to come into it in order to get rid of it, to find the happiness. And so this is a very powerful time, but it is also spiritual surgery which is deep and this is going to be still playing out. Saturn and Scorpio does not go away, but today we definitely have to face this today and in our heads and for our heads not to trip out, but to accept it and to go deeper than we've ever gone. That's what the next couple days are all about. So hope you guys check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you want a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, thank you guys for all your support and I will see you tomorrow.